Hey there folks, Rel here. Fair warning in advance is that this video is a little bit preachy, and if you're not down with that, then you can go ahead and check out some other videos. There's plenty of non-preachy ones to choose from. A common theme in gaming, movies, storytelling in general is hope. Regardless of how bleak the outcome may appear, how insurmountable the odds, the fuel that keeps us going is something which you cannot physically obtain. Thinking about it in this way sort of puts it at odds with what your goals are, usually in those games, and what the plot lines are in those movies, because you need the higher level, you need to get better gear, you need to recruit new squad mates, whatever. Once you have those more tangible objects or upgrades, you feel as if you have more control over your situation, and that control allows you to complete whatever it is you set out to do with confidence. Hope is ultimately a motivator in the absence of armor, in the absence of comfort, or in the absence of control. In other words, hope is what you have when you have nothing at all. When you think about how many games, movies, and stories try to impart that lesson, the lesson that hope can help you conquer what others deem impossible, there's a lot of examples to choose from. Commander Shepard constantly being ignored by what's happening to the galaxy, or uh, Faith from Mirror's Edge Catalyst taking on the City of Glass, trying to reshape that society, or Wolfenstein, the New Order, when BJ is uh, taking on all the Nazis. It may seem like moving toward the realm of silliness, but these stories where all the odds are stacked against you, that happens in real life. It's just with fewer Nazis. We may not be fighting Reapers, but each one of us has our own challenges, and if not yet, then you certainly will sooner or later. Maybe you're struggling to lose weight, and you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel yet. Maybe you have no idea how you're going to make ends meet this month, or keep yourself fed. Or maybe you're just alone for the holidays. Games can take what feels like a subtle message, you know, one that says, just keep fighting, just keep going, just keep doing, and we interpret that as part of the game, and it's fun, and it's expected, but I think that it's such a desirable trope to sell in our games and our stories because we connect with it on a deep and personal level. We understand and desire the motivation that our heroes and heroines have in the face of those challenges. We would like more of that in our own lives. This lesson will never convey quite correctly, because in a game or a movie you can take a fairly educated guess at how it's going to end, but real hope, for you and I, there is no sitting on the sidelines. We have to take on the role of the hero, and keep going when we don't know the outcome, and keep going despite those that tell us we're wrong, or that tell us that our situations can't change, or that we're never going to be more than what we are right now. We may not always be right or get the lucky break that we think we deserve, because that's life. But we have to believe that things will get better, despite the outcome, and never be afraid to try. So this video may seem somewhat pointless to some of you guys right now, but I personally feel that you know, as we move into the new year, it's safe to say that some of us need this right now. Some of us may need it in the future. You know, heck, I need this. If this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and if you have any thoughts on hope and the role that it plays in our games and our lives, you can share them in the comments section down below. Thanks very much, folks. We're all signing off. Thank you.